Good day, I'm Jim Jenkins from Applied Technology Institute. I'd like to welcome you to the sample of some of our courses. ATI presents courses in space, sonar, radar, defense, and systems engineering. This particular little sample gives you a video to get a feel for the type of material presented and there's only a few slides from the actual course itself. That way you get a feel for the technical content of a typical course. Hi, my name is Bill Roper. I'm one of the instructors in the Applied Research Institute program. And the course that, that I'm involved in uh, teaching is the hyperspectral, multispectral uh, imaging course. And I'd like to show you some uh, just examples of some of the, the imagery products that we look at throughout the course. This is a uh, hyperspectral uh, image of Death Valley. A uh, very nice example of being able to identify uh, clear geological uh, minerals and other formations in this area of the United States remotely. Uh, this other image here is a panchromatic uh, image taken off the Icona satellite uh, in the Washington, D.C. area, a very high-resolution spatial uh, imager, one meter by one meter, as well as a panchromatic sensor of uh, four meter resolution and four band uh, spectral resolution. The course focuses on both hyperspectral and multispectral. And over here to the right, uh, we have an example of uh, hyperspectral reflectance measurements, uh, looking at some of the characteristic signatures of material that would be on the ground, dry soil, wet soil, and vegetation. And part of the process here is to take those spectral signatures that come off the sensor, match them to a library in order to be able to identify what you're actually seeing you know, in the image. Um, you're always, when you're looking at uh, the electromagnetic uh, spectrum, uh, you, in a sensor standpoint, you have to be aware of where the water moisture uh, bands are, uh, we identify different sensors that work best for different applications and go through a series of case studies and uh, project areas where these sensors have been used throughout the course. Uh, one example that I'm using right now is the, uh, the imagery and the data analysis that was done uh, uh, following Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. This is a, an image over New, er New Orleans so showing some of the inundated area You'll notice the Superdome here with part of the roof gone. Um, the, there's a lot of um, physical information that can, can be integrated into a, a, a remote sensing analysis. Uh, but the bottom line is that you take that information and populate a spatially related database that can be used and tailored to different kinds of applications uh, for the user, the customer, or the on-ground uh, uh, command post in the case of an emergency response. So these are just a few uh, short examples of some of the things that we cover in the course and uh, they're all <clears throat> based on real uh, imagery data and we I go through a number of case studies. So thanks for joining me for a few minutes to give a, a quick snapshot of the kinds of things that will be covered in the course.